Okay, folks, here we are, Salem, Oregon. We are in the garage of Mr. Ron Hughley of the new Freaky Tiki A Fuel Funny Car. Yeah. Ron's going to tell us a little bit about this project. Take it away, Ron. What do you got? Well, hey, thanks, Dave. Uh, yeah, you saw we did, I did a video on Dave just before Streetcar Super Nationals had some fun. Um, Dave and Brett and Scott, they've been buds since uh, 2010. They came and helped out and started a really cool thing with us, uh, the Tiki Warrior. We uh, were very successful, had lots of great time. I mean, wonderful times with that. I'll never trade those for anything in the world. Um, we had a, one of the best big brothers in the world, Dave Bainey, God rest his soul. Cheers. That uh, really enjoyed it probably as much or more than we did. And uh, a lot of people knew the Tiki Warrior. It was a blown alcohol 76 Monza, nostalgia double V car. Um, but I've wanted my own funny car since I was five years old. The first funny car I saw was the Whipple McCullough Duster that was uh, at Coletti's place in 1970. And it was like, I've got to have I gotta have a funny car. And so uh, my dream came to life. You know, I like I said, I drove the Tiki Warrior. I had, had great memories with that. Things I'll never ever dream of doing that I was able to do, but it wasn't mine. And um, flash forward 50, 50 years later and I finally realized my dream. And in um, January of 2020, I purchased a double B car for myself from a guy by the name of Ralph Hubbard out of Chehalis, Washington. And it was the Tires Inc. car. He ran in the Northwest Double B. And uh, it's a 2006 Gordy's chassis, but it had a satellite body on it. And I had a 70, my very first car was a 7344 speed Cuda. I love the e-body cars. Um, <laughs> ironically, it takes a funny car for me to get another Cuda. So, um, I got the car knowing that I had done pretty much everything I wanted to do with Double B with, the, with uh, injected nitro. Yeah, we got animals in the house. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, it's okay. You can hit the kid another time. It's all right. <laughs> but uh, um, I wanted to go nitro racing. And um, I'm doing this on a tight shoestring budget, you know. Um, basically, I... Uh, I'm way out of my pay grade on this deal, but I, I've got to, I've got to take a shot at it one time. And um, Don Hudson had this car; it's called the Beachcomber that he ran a nostalgia nitro funny car. Had done a really nice tribute to Don Johnson's Beachcomber car. Um, he'd been trying to sell the body for a while and uh, didn't have much luck. But I got my deal. I, I struck a deal with Don and purchased the Cuda body. So we just set the Cuda body on the car. Um, like a lot of things, life gets in the way. Uh, I'm the manager at Portland International Raceway and it takes up a lot of my time. And so basically winter's about the only time I ever get to work on this stuff. So we got the body set on the car. I've got to do, we've got to get some work done to it. Uh, as far as uh, mounting the body, there's still a little bit of work to get it to mount to this chassis. Um, it's gonna have a 494 inch injected nitro uh, Allen Johnson engine. It's a TFX 92 block, Allen Johnson stage two fuel heads. Um, it's got a her what's called a Hercules. This is an eight port Crower. This is the stuff that was run towards the later 70s. It's the bigger square inches than the smaller eight port Crowers that were on the 671s. When they started running 871s and a little bit bigger blower, they went with these what, ca what were called Hercules. Um, and this thing's probably headed to Randy Parker? Yeah, Randy's, uh, he's, we've talked about it. We're gonna make a couple changes to it. We're gonna lift the engine up because the engine sits way too low. I need to get the engine up about an inch and a half at the crankshaft. We'll probably move it back and then we'll get the body mounted. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna go up to Randy's and uh, get some of that work done. Um, pretty much I just go up there because Kim loves me and she just looks forward to seeing me. She misses me. Um, <laughs> I'm sure of it. No, actually, we do. We really do get along. <laughs> she misses all of us. She right. Kim misses all of us, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, she's uh, she's gone on to A Fuel Glory. Uh, she actually has realized that injected nitro is pretty cool. She likes her little, her dragster. 
Yeah. And I'm trying to convince her to take her old double B car and uh, switch it over to go injected nitro to come come play as well. That would be um, good. Hey, so you had a CUDA in high school? Yeah, a yeah. 7344 speed CUDA, black well, car. There yep. you go. So you got another one. Yep. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, 80, 80, yeah, wow, 40 years ago. Yeah. 1981, 1981 is when I had my CUDA. It's 2021, so. We're not old. I went to Hillsborough High School, so I was able to do math, not Oregon City. Right. So, <laughs> ah, I love this. Zing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little inside joke. But it's no, it's the truth, though. Um, so, yeah, I, I do. I like, I mean, if I couldn't have an E-body, I would have a 68 Barracuda A-body. But um, nobody's making those yet. And I, my days of fiberglass, I'm, it's not a healthy lifestyle, and I'm done with that. So, um It'll have a. Uh, you said two speed. Yeah, right? it'll have a. I got a Molinari clutch that'll be in it. A crown, you know, a, a glide clutch with a two speed Lenco, 390 rear gear. This is going to be legal to run Heritage Series Nitro Funny Car, but it's just going to be missing the blower. Um, I don't have any thoughts that it's going to go out there and run 550s or 560s and keep up with Bucky and Jeff Moniz and all the hard hitters that are out there running really hard, you know, Dan Horan's, whatever. Um, but I would like to go to Bakersfield twice and my job will allow me to go to Bakersfield in October and March. Um, I may also pack it up and put it in a trailer and ship it back to the Midwest. I'd love to do the funny car chaos stuff. It would be a great car to race chaos at. And, um, uh, I get together with Mikey Cavallari and the old guys and besides my team and put the band back together and have some fun. So, um, what else, Dave? Got any other questions for me on it? What do you think? No, I don't think so. It looks good. We love the body. Looking forward to seeing it out there. This is all going to be gone. It's no longer the Beachcomber. That was Don Johnson's car back in the 70s, and Don Hudson made a tribute to that, and that's Don Hudson's deal. Um, you know, we were the Tiki Warrior. I'm known as the Tiki Man. And we had a car that we were working with Dave. Uh, unfortunately, passed away. We weren't able to do it. And so, uh, in honor of, of my big brother, uh, we're going to call it, I'm going to call it what we were going to call that car. This car will be known as the Freaky Tiki. So, nice. Uh, we'll have a Tiki Man on there. He'll probably have a glass pipe, you know, because it's legal. <laughs> it's only <a> recreation, <laughs> but no, we'll have some fun with it. That's that's. If you're not having fun doing this, you shouldn't be doing it. You could go out and race and get be competitive, and we want to do that. But at the end of the day, it is really about making some great friends. I can't tell you how many wonderful friends we've made over the course of the you know when I was working on other people's cars to the ten years we ran that Tiki car, and uh, I really look forward to uh, getting back out there and uh, reconnected with my friends. Um, I will say right now that it's gonna take me a little bit to get comfortable doing my big burnouts. Uh, this is a nitro car, so I'm gonna have to really figure this thing out. I do wanna do that. And uh, uh, I'm gonna have to pay for tires, so uh, you can send uh, you know, GoFundMe to, the, to, to tires, to Tiki Warrior Tire, or Tiki Man Tires or something. Yeah, hopefully Goodyear's watching this, or who's yeah, your? Uh, Goodyear, yeah, Goodyear was, uh, Goodyear loved me back in the, the Tiki Warrior days, so um, yeah. it's fun. I like doing that. You know, we don't get to see that. I understand why it's not done these days. You know, um, it is a little hard on the clutch, and, and people need that real consistency, but um, I realize that as much as I like to race and be competitive, I want to make people happy and, and put a show on. And that's what really what we're all about is we're, we're, we're good entertainers. Yep. You know, whether it's, it's us guys on the West Coast or the folks on the East Coast. I've got a lot of friends back there on the East Coast that do that as well. And um, right on. Want to look, want to get back out there and do it again. Yeah. So. Um, so someday testing at Woodburn and then on to Bakersfield. Correct. Yeah. We're going to spend, um, I'm hoping that I can get. All of the mechanical stuff done. Most of the mechanical stuff is already in process to be done. Uh, we'll get the body on here. Um, it may not go out painted. Uh, Joe Miller will probably do the paintwork on it. I've talked with Joe. He's He says he's interested in doing it. So um, 
Hopefully. He's a big ABBA fan, I've heard. ABBA. He likes ABBA. Yeah. Hey, yeah, ABBA, and then he does <laughs> he cooks cauliflower pizzas or something like that. I see on the. He's a fantastic pizza chef. Yeah. Yes. So, um, uh, we'll figure it out, but I will probably yeah we'll I can I can go test at Woodburn a little bit and you know I just I I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't take it out until you really have a handle on it a little bit, and you never truly have a handle on it, but I'd rather go out there and not step on my then uh then then go out and really run yeah all right so um this is fun i uh, appreciate dave loney you guys all need to subscribe not just to see me but see all the great <laughs> other content that dave loney puts on d loney v8 youtube you need to subscribe hit like hit that button uh hit all of our sponsors um Thank the folks at Taylor Motorsports. They make the best safety equipment in the world. They keep us safe. Dennis, get better. Um, Absolutely. Thanks. That's all I got right now. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Oh, wait a second. We also got to thank our sponsors. Because only some of us are still drinking. Miller Lite. Right? <laughs> Cheers. Yep. Brett and I carry it on. And we're, the, we're the last two bastions of Team Miller Lite West. The old and school. And we're leaving in three days to go back and reacquaint ourselves with Team Miller Light East. Perfect. Cheers. All right, we'll wrap it up. Take care. Thanks Thank for you. watching, everybody.